oh man, this thing really stinks. It smells like somebody's really stinky house. Oh, that is rank. It kind of smells like a mixture of peppermint, dog pee, and I just saw the side of it. It says, a revolution and urinal care. Oh. Remember how I said it smells like peppermint and like, like urine? I think because that was a part of a urinal, but I think that was actually a part of a urinal that was used as somebody returned to Amazon, a heavily used urinal piece. It smelled like urine mixed with a urinal cake is what it smelled like. And guess what? That's what it was. That's disgusting. About that time for a new palette video. Today we've got a general merchandise palette that it's actually what this one was labeled. So I haven't had one for quite a while that was actually labeled that. So I'm guessing this is going to be as what I like to call a hodgepodge palette. And if you've watched me now for a while you already know that whenever you hear me call a palette a hodgepodge that usually a pretty good sign because usually the hodgepodge kind of palettes are usually usually the most profitable palettes that you can get usually at least that you've seen on this channel so general merchandise it could be anything who knows we might see some tools toys maybe some electronics some housewares pet supplies cleaning supplies Jewelry, who knows what we're going to find in these pallets or these boxes. But anyway, it's four boxes that came on one pallet. All four of these boxes, the full Amazon, like full price if everything's brand new, but it's not. This is all customer returns. The full Amazon price was $1,746. Pretty high price point. Pretty high. But what I paid, my full price of what I pay down to the penny is $182.44. That includes everything. The price, taxes, fees, and shipping, but I always say I don't pay shipping costs because I buy locally, so I pick it up myself. Always buy locally. Don't pay shipping because if you pay shipping on these four boxes, these probably weigh about 25 to 30 pounds a box in that range. This would be at least 200, 250 for all four to be shipped on one pallet across the country. So the 250 plus this, this would cost you at least 450, 425, 450, 475 to have it shipped to you. And that's, that really cuts into the profit. That makes it hard to turn a profit when you're paying that much money. So, we're just gonna, I just whacked my light with one of these things. So, get going, get started. Woo, yeah, let me show you. General merchandise. So we're gonna just see all kinds of randomness come out of these four boxes. Let's get going. First thing. It's called an Avalanche Outdoor Supply Company. This is probably, let me go ahead and crack this thing open. Ooh, this is nice. This is like a, uh, a cooler. That's nice. It looks, does the zipper work? Yes, it works. So it looks like this could be a cooler for uh, bottles, cans, food. And that is the company name, Avalanche. Hmm. I'm going to say something like this. I'm just going to estimate prices in this video. I'm going to estimate from my 20 years of reselling experience of like items and actual past sales. But something like this, I could realistically probably get about $20 for this item. Just the way it sits. And I will update below. My After the video, I'll do some research and figure out really how much I could probably get for it. Let me adjust this light. This I'm, I'm seeing darkness. Hold on. I think it's better. 
Earlier I hit my light with that thing, my studio light. It just looked dark in the camera screen. Anyway, quit rambling. Next thing, looks like we have some kind of a toy. What is this? We have like a... It's shoved down in that thing. This says, can speak, Rose Rabbit. It's got brand new tags. Looks like it has an on switch, but I think the batteries are dead in it. Yeah, it needs it needs new batteries. So it looks like it's brand new with tags, but it needs new batteries put into it. But it looks like it's some kind of, it says I can speak, so some kind of talking, dancing, maybe ear flapping little toy thing. So this might have a little bit decent value to it also. I'm just gonna guess about this price, but maybe 15, 20 bucks or so in that range. Possibly, maybe, who knows? Next, we've got a grill cover. Now we're going to some more outdoorsy stuff. Yeah, that looks brand new. Uh, let's see, what's this one for? This is for a Fitz. Doesn't even say. Fits most 22 inch charcoal grill. So it's pretty much, it fits like a 22 inch Weber grill. Pretty common size. Size 71, 76. Something like this, honestly, it's about 20 bucks in that range in brand new condition. Awesome. So first three things, that's probably maybe around 60 bucks for the first three things in this. Huh. We have some kind of a case. Looks like this must be for like makeup, it looks like. You've got compartments here. I'm guessing this might be for makeup. Of course, it could be used for who knows what. It could be used for jewelry also, since it locks. But there is no key, correct? Yeah, there's no key, so it's missing a key. Oh, it doesn't have a key. It's like a spin dial thing. So, slide to open. So I don't actually lock it because I don't see any instructions on how to set the actual lock. So I'll just leave it the way it is right now. But something like this, once again, it's probably about 15, 20 bucks right there. And that looks to be brand new also. I think the first four things look like they're pretty much, the first four things are in pretty much brand new kind of condition. Not bad. Next. I used to get this item in liquidations all the freaking time. All the time. And a lot of times it was broken because it's very up oh, and that's broken. It's very cheap plastic. That thing's broken. Yeah. That thing's junk. It's broken. Yeah, so you put your shampoos in here, your like your lotion if you want, conditioner, soap. But its problem is, it's such, it's so cheap, it just doesn't do well. Yeah, that's, yeah, cheap. Next, we have some from Bulova. Bulova is a good brand. I actually got a couple Bulova watches upstairs, like wrist watches. Looks like this looks like some kind of little clock. Bulova is a fantastic brand. It is not broken, it's not cracked, it just looks like it needs batteries in it. Brand new! Freaking awesome! Another brand new item. So the first, like what, four, five, six items? Out of the first six items, like five are in pretty much brand new condition. Can't beat that. But is this supposed to be customer returns? Uh, looking down to this box, I do see a lot of customer returned items, so don't think it's going to be all like brand new kind of items like this gets worse as I go down deeper in this box. I don't know, how much would a Bulova clock like this be? $15, $20 again maybe? I'm guesstimating on that. Next we have a Dog Comfort X Harness. Once again, that looks brand new. Still in the packaging. It's size large. There's the sizes on the back of it. 
Huh, so like this, probably about 15 bucks. And all the prices I'm quoting are pretty much prices that would be on eBay and Amazon. Um, of course, prices will differ between all selling platforms just because it's five bucks on Amazon. It could sell for $10 on eBay. And it could sell for $12 on Facebook Marketplace. You know, every selling platform will have different prices across the board. Because right now, if you went, let's say, if you looked at this actual item right now, if you walked into Walmart, Walmart might have this thing for $21.99. If you logged on to Amazon, they might have this exact same item for $19.99. Exact same item, it's like $2 less. If you walked into Target, they might have this thing, the same thing for $23.99. Like every store will have everything priced different. It could be 20 bucks here, 22 there, and 24 there. That's the same way as like online stores too, like Amazon, eBay, it's the same way. Prices will be different every place you shop. Nothing will be the same. Man, this thing is nasty used. There is all kinds of hair. The camera might not pick it up, but there is hair and gunk all stuck up in this fan. I'm going to go ahead and say right now there's probably a 99.999% chance this fan is probably burnt up. That's why the person returned it. And it's pretty heavily used because it takes quite some time for a fan to get all this hair and gunk stuck up into the fan like this. I'm gonna go ahead and say this thing is probably not gonna work. So I won't even add that into the total down below. But it, it won't work. Almost guarantee it. Guarantee it. Next item, what is, what is this? Is this beard oil? No way, is it? It is. It could be used for beard oil. It's got castor oil, Moroccan argan, Jamaican black castor, unrefined shea, vitamin E, mar marcula, vitamin B. Yeah, this can actually be used for moisturizers, dry, damaged hair, stronger and healthier hair, touchable, softness, shine. Well, I'm keeping this. We've got some growth and shine nourishing oil. Huh, kind of like some beard oil. Well, let's go on to the keep stack, way over there. Keeping that, because I do put oil into the beard. Oh, I have all kinds of, in, in my bathroom, I got all kinds of different kind of oils, and I've got uh, balms and all kinds of, all kinds of nifty stuff. Okay, next item, we have some clothes I just pulled out. So, this is the hodgepodge palette. This thing's got everything. We went from freaking toys, to grill covers, to a pet item, to beard oil, and now we've got some clothes. Oh man, this is nice. This is a Columbia men's, looks like a waist size 40. Heck, these things would fit me. Waist size 40. I'm actually like a couple of inches bigger than that, but I can squeeze into these. Waist size 40 pants, Columbia. They do not have the tags, so they might have been worn. Oh, it's missing a button on this side. So it needs a button on this side here. If That's fixable though. That's fixable. That's fixable. Easy fix. So I'll just estimate this thing as it sits right now at like $5 in unfixed condition. But once I fix the button, this is probably easily gonna be about $15, but the way it sits, about five bucks. Oh, we have an entire bathroom set here. We've got a soap dish, toothbrush holder, a, here's like a spit cup, a soap dispenser, a whole bathroom set here. Honestly, it's about five bucks. Good thing for my shop. Now we're going back to pet supplies. Hodgepodge palette. Multi-cat diffuser and refill for cats and kittens reduces multi-cat tension and conflict. Create a common environment. Hmm, really? Actually, it's still factory sealed. Oh, the bottom's been opened up. Disregard. Oh, it's still in there. It's all good to go. I have never sold this. I don't even know how much this thing sells for, if this thing's expensive or not. 
I'm just going to guesstimate this and say like five to eight dollars. I'll update below once I actually find out the real price. It's interesting though. Calm your cat down. Oh, here is just a holder for a pan. You would, it's actually a pan or for a knife. You'd stick it in there. It's probably more for one of those two. That's like a dollar box item. That thing's cheap. Here's the thing of beads of purple, violet, purple, like craft beads. So now we got into some crafts. Some arts and crafts and arts and crafts. One dollar. It's like a piece of paper. That's trash. Literally, that thing's like a piece of paper. Next, oh, <laughs> now we have a curtain. Literally, we have like a blackout curtain. Don't know the size. It has some hair stuck to it, so it is used. Uh, that's gonna be about ten dollars, but I'm gonna have to figure out size on that. Here. Remember earlier I said we might have jewelry? Well, we've got some earrings. We actually have some earrings. I'm not sure the camera's gonna pick this thing up. I don't know if these things are silver. I don't know if they're stainless steel. I have zero clue, but they're big old earring looking things. I do not know. That's what they look like. I have to research those. I don't know. Have no clue if they're valuable or not. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of funny. We have a cake topper for a wedding, but the bride, her her head broke off. So that's that's kind of funny. So that's actually a great dollar box item. I could see somebody wanting to buy this just because the bride is missing her head. It's kind of like a gag gift for somebody. That's a good dollar box item, actually. Yeah, it'll sell for a dollar, I guarantee it will. We got three things left in here. Let's see what we got. So far, this first box, is, it's been kind of fun with this mystery factor. Oh man, this thing really stinks. It smells like somebody's really stinky house. Oh, that is rank. It kind of smells like a mixture of peppermint, dog pee, and a couple other mixed odors. I don't know what this thing is. I just saw the side of it. It says, a revolution in urinal care. I need some disinfectant wipes. I think what I was smelling, oh, I just ran out of disinfectant wipes too. Remember how I said it smells like peppermint and like, like urine? I think because that was a part of a urinal. You know how urinals kind of have those little uh, things in them, those little circle things? What those things are called? I'm, I'm kind of flustered right now. Because I just touched, I think, at least, I don't think I actually touched, I just touched outside the box. But I think that was actually a part of a urinal that was used as somebody returned to Amazon. A heavily used urinal piece. Okay, right now, like, I'm literally all soap sudsed up. Disinfect! So, the urine peppermint smell. Oh! Urinal cake, it's called a urinal cake. It smelled like urine mixed with a urinal cake is what it smelled like. And guess what? That's what it was. That's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. That's the liquidation business, people. Sometimes you literally get used parts of a urinal. So next item, there's four of these things in there. I have no clue what this is. There's four of these in there. I'm going to have to research this. The, the box has nothing on it. 
There's four of these things in this box. Does anybody know what this is? It looks like it's brand new. There's one, two, three, yeah, there's four in there. Any clue? Let me know below, please. Last thing, first box. Here we go, we have a willow tree. Musical dance of life, that's cool. Willow trees are fantastic sellers. They always sell very quickly. They sell much quicker than used urinal parts, that's for sure. As long as it's not broken though, sometimes these things can, can be broken sometimes. No, it's not broken. There we go, tree of life. That's really nice, something like this. This could easily be about $25, $30. That is really nice. So that's it, that's the first box. Let me box this thing up. Let me unwind for a second after touching a used urinal part that smelled like urine and a urinal cake. And I'll be right back. Box number two. Here we go. Let's hope and pray that this time there isn't any uh, special peppermint treat in here. That's all I ask. Looks like this time there's not much in this one. There's lots of bigger stuff in this. Yeah, this one won't take long. First thing, we've got a Mawuko insulated blackout grommet panel pair. That's actually, looks like it's open package item. Somebody took it out, returned it. Something like this, easily about $20, $25. As long as, long as the pair is in here and they weren't trimmed or anything like that because if somebody trimmed it, that really hurts the value. Man, what's this? Oh, this is something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be keeping this. I keep everything that I get like this in liquidations because why sell it when I'm gonna use this? But here is an entire case of two, four, six. Method all purpose, naturally derived surface cleaner, pink grapefruit, Pample Mouse Rose cuts grease and grime. A whole case of six. So I will be keeping this entire case of cleaner. But I bet that case right there, all six of those are probably at least three to four bucks a bottle. So that should be at least 18 to 24 dollars for that case right there. So you know what? Like that's going to save my wife and myself money when it comes to cleaning supplies. Hodgepodge palette. Pantyhose. We go from cleaning supplies to pantyhose. Hodgepodge pallets are some of the, honestly, some of the most fun pallets because it could be anything. So we got some pantyhose. I mean, they don't look used. The packaging is just really beat up on this. I don't even, I have never ever sold pantyhose actually in my life. I don't even know what size these things are. I'm not, oh, a size up here. Size LL, I'll just show the camera. There's all the sizing and stuff on it, right there on top. So, I have no clue what pantyhose even sells for. I'll update below when I find out later. No clue. Next, we have, let's just crash thing open. What is this? Label says, lumbar pillow with firmer memory foam provide back support, pain relief. Oh, it's a travel pillow. Nifty. Yep, it's just a travel pillow with a little carrying case. You know, just go behind your head like whenever you, or wraps around, you know, whenever you travel. That's cool. Something like that, probably about, what, 10 bucks or so. Next. Delta, genuine parts. So we go from cleaning supplies to pantyhose to a neck pillow now to Delta parts. Be careful just in case. This one though is still factory sealed. Completely factory sealed. What kind of part is this? Is there a label? Something? Really?
This makes it incredibly hard to sell when there's nothing on there. Looks like Amazon put their LPN label over possibly what it actually told what this part is. Looks like the only thing I have to go by is the number EP74852. So is a Delta and that is the number. So I'm going to research this and I will update this thing later, but it is factory sealed, brand new. It is still has, even has the air in the package. So some kind of a Delta part. I'm sure it has a little bit of value to it. I mean, it has to. Oh, let me make sure I put it back in the package. Oh, the instructions is right here. It is a replacement solenoid. So that's kind of nifty. So if it's a replacement solenoid, that's probably a little bit of value right there, honestly. That's probably at least maybe 50 or so, actually. So I'll update below, but it's 100% brand new. Next we have just two squirt bottles. That's like a dollar a piece, two of them, two dollar. Well, this is nice. Here we have a 1500 thread count comfort and soft touch pattern duvet cover, a three piece. Looks like it comes in like a little, like a carrying case travel pouch thing. Looks like brand new. That's probably another like $20, $30 item right there. To the cuff in this box, number two. That looks nice. And it's factory sealed still. Oh, no, the bottom is not sealed, but the top is. But it looks kind of nice though. As long as it's not damaged in any way. It is an Umbra. Did I even say what it was? Looks like a, some kind of like a jewelry box. You can store all kinds of goodies in it. It's got some tape on it right here. It doesn't look damaged. Drawer pulls out. And what else does it do? Oh, the top slides off. Yep, yeah, top slides. I won't take this whole thing apart, but yeah. It looks like it's pretty... Pretty nice. It looks like it's new. So, something like this, I bet you maybe about 30 bucks or so. A jewelry box, storage, storage container, Umbra. Pretty nice. I'll take it. Last thing, box number two. We just have a plain white box. Hodgepodge, baby. Everything is so freaking random. Is that a piece of wood? It looks like a piece of wood. Be careful reaching into this thing. Is it a sculpture? Whatever it is, it has parts broken off of it. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but the owl has a broken ear. Then it has a little parts of broken, where it was, his tail's broken off. But that's, yeah, it's kind of cool, but it's damaged. But yeah, so something like that, I'll have to figure that thing out. I might just end up just putting that thing into my shop for pretty cheap just because, I mean, it's, it's damaged. So it won't sell for that much because of the condition that it's in. So let me throw these things back in really quick. We'll move on to box number three. Okay, box three. Let's keep this puppy cruising. No time to rest. No bathroom breaks, nothing. We just keep going. This one has an odd smell to it. it kind of smells, it doesn't really, it smells like kind of like maybe a clean supplies or something. So first thing, we have a SureGuard with a mattress cover, box spring encasement. Ah, something like that, it's like 20 bucks. Looks like somebody bought it. They probably bought it and it didn't fit their box spring so they returned it. So, it's a pretty good seller though. It'll sell quickly. 
Almost smells like wood chips. Next we got, not this thing, uh, char, a char basket, char basket. It's still factory sealed on both ends. It's probably about 20 bucks or so. Grilling season's kind of done, but for real, real grill masters, grilling season is never over. You, like I've grilled before in like five feet of snow, it doesn't even matter. Next, we've got a used Spider-Man, like a sippy cup, Dala. We have a used, look like an apple slicer or something, Dala. A very used pair of flip-flops. Yeah, these are really used. The brand is called Seychelles. You see it, probably you can't, it's, it's really, like the brand is worn off of somebody wearing it. Spelled S-C-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S. It says they are made in Italy. I don't want to manhandle these things too much because they're pretty used. I don't see a size on them. We can figure it out really quick though. I mean, they're they're used, but they're still life in. They are a size ten, or a, or that'd be like a like a man size ten. So that'd be like a women's size what eleven, right? Yeah, if if you convert it, women convert up, I think, right? Correct? No, they convert down. No, something like that. You know what I'm saying? On a tape measure, it's ten inches. So it'd be a man size ten. So if you're a woman, if it's a man size 10 for this. So, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyway, keep going. Ooh, we have a brand new in the package, a Ferminator factory sealed de-shedding tool. My cat's got a couple of these things and he loves his Ferminator. How much, these things actually used to be more expensive but the price of these things have dropped. I think now they're like 15 bucks or so. Might actually be a little bit less than that now. Oh, here's that same Thunder East thing from earlier where it calms your pets down. Remember from the first first box? Uh, maybe like 10, 10 bucks or so. Packaging is different, but it's the same thing. What in the world is this? This literally looks like trash. It's like paper. Up here we have a pool float. It's summer, it's or it's summertime's over, so people will start returning their uh, summertime stuff. Pool float, that'd be a good thing for the for like dollar box. Here we have some used headphones. I see earwax on them, so that's nasty. I don't know what this brand is. I'll show you, it's like a running man kind of looking thing. So the headphones have a carrying case. I don't know. It says, looks like the model number of these things is MP-220. So I'll just say like 10 bucks for now. I'll update it later. They're used, but of course you can just clean them off and disinfect them and they're just fine. But I don't like touching used earphones. I'm kind of like a germ phobe when it comes to that kind of stuff. Here's some wooden, wooden turkeys. So freaking random. But they're broken. Their wings are broken off. Their beaks are broken off. That's too bad. It's almost Thanksgiving too, but those, those are kind of trash. I mean, they're broken. Oh my goodness. This has to do with like some kind of like artsy thing, crafty thing. I can't think of what it is, but it's kind of junk. Cat toy. Huh. That is a big cat toy. That's a huge fish. Is it? Is that what smells? Yep, that's what smells. Man, that's a really strong smell. Cats are going to play with that. That is a very strong smell. I don't know. That's a good dollar box item. I was going to say say that for my cat, but man, that smells. He, he won't play with that. Here's an entire case of 72 yellow citronella tea light candles with clear, yeah, 
72 candles and they are loose, falling out of the box. I'm just going to say five bucks, I think, for now. It's probably more than that, but that thing's a mess. Here is, what is this? Oh, it looks like a little dog shirt thing. Yeah, kind of trash. Box 2's got a little bit of trash in it. This looks like a white shirt. I don't know. Good dollar box item. Here's like some salt and pepper shakers. A whole bag of them. Dollar box. Here is Cole and Mason. Uh, looks like a pepper grinder. This is actually a little bit of value to this, if it works. It looks like it's used, I'll have to try it out. New, I think this thing's probably about 20, 30 bucks. Used, if it works, maybe about 15, 20 dollars, if it works. Oh man. Has to do with like some artsy crafty thing, with like something, dollar. Two things left in this box. Baby cakes. Man, box three has been kind of interesting. All kinds of weird stuff in box three. Okay, let's see if it's new or used. That is actually new. That has not been used yet. There is no gunk or food on it. So this is new in this condition. New, uh, the box is kind of beat up on it. I'll pop this into my shop for about like 10 bucks or so. Last thing, box number three. I think I, think I might have said box two, but this is actually box three. Ah, there we go. See what this is? We have a used pool float. Somebody returned because summertime is over. And it smells like mold. So, so somebody boxed up and it was wet and now it's all molded up. So that's trash. So anyway, box three is done. My table is full. I'm going to box this up. I'll be right back with box number four. Stay with me. Okay, just a small little recap. My camera shut down on me and I just recorded a couple minutes of video and I probably lost it. More than likely when my camera does this, it doesn't save what it just recorded. It just, it just vanishes. All we missed, I just opened up the fourth box. I pulled out this, is this the same storage box from the first uh, or second box we opened up. I was just saying that this one is damaged it's in pieces they'll have to be repaired if it can't be repaired it's pretty much going to be trash so i won't add this in uh so we're going on so next item we have a hot and cold thing actually it is a camelback though it is a camelback branded coffee mug isn't it appears to be new and i'm actually going to keep this because I could actually use some new coffee mugs so yeah I'm gonna keep that that's gonna go in my keep stack keep going we have a used Contigo it actually has water and moisture on the inside of it so that's kind of gross that I mean that'll need to be cleaned out before I can sell it because obvious reasons but that just a few dollars next we have is this food yes this is I don't know if I'd want to eat this, but here we got a Dingo Twist Sticks. Do oh, it's dog treats, bursting with flavor. Oh, dogs will eat anything now. So we got some dog treats, you know, a few dollars, not much. Next we got a hot plate. This appears to be, yes, that thing's brand new. Brand new Aroma Hot Plate. Fantastic for camping or Anybody that lives in like a dorm room, you need a hot plate, hot plate. Something like this, this is about like 20 bucks. It appears to be in new con condition, so 
Actually, it might be a little bit more than that, depending on prices, because prices on things like that do fluctuate during certain times of year. Like Christmas time, prices fluctuate. I don't know what this, it's a little white box. What is this? It is a battery. It might be better for like a drone or something. That is actually exactly what it is. It is just a battery for a drone battery. So that's not much, it's just a few bucks. It's an off-brand generic drone battery. Same thing for many other boxes. It has to do with like arts and crafts. One of those thingies, whatever it's called. Don't even know. That's just like dollar box item. Next, this looks like an ink box. And that's what it is. It is replacement, like generic ink. Yeah, this generic ink is very hard. Like generic refillable ink is so hard to sell. Nobody wants to buy it. Five bucks, but I'll probably end up having to get that thing away for pretty much free. Few things left in this box, not much. We have an aroma, really nice rice cooker. Looks like a more upscale rice cooker. Let's see, used or new? Packaging on it looks nice. Pull the top off. That is brand new. Always kind of like smell stuff. You can just use your nose and smell stuff and kind of smell if it's used or new. This thing is 100% brand new. The packaging on it is just a little bit uh, wear and tear, but beyond that, this thing is 100% new. So that's actually a really nice one. I've never sold this model of Aroma before. This might be a little bit more expensive than what I actually can estimate for, but I'm gonna estimate like 30 bucks. That might be low on this. I will update below if I'm incorrect, but maybe about 30 bucks or so for that. Another Ferminator. This is a vacuum accessory. This one has been opened. Uh, doesn't look used though. It might, it might be used, I don't know. But it's a vacuum accessory Ferminator thing to help suck up pet hair. Maybe about 10 bucks or so, just because it's not factory sealed. Two things left in here. We have a Oh, one of America's favorite food. We have a donut pan. How fun is that? Huh. So something like this, maybe like 10 bucks or so? What's the brand? Norpro brand. That's an okay brand. Maybe about 10, 10 bucks or so. So we got like one thing left, right? Yeah, we're done. Last thing in this whole palette. We are complete. It seemed like it didn't take very long, but once I go back and edit this video, I'll probably be like, oh yeah, <laughs> it took longer than what I, what I thought it did. But whenever you're going through a palette and I'm gabbing away about stuff, I kind of lose track of time and it's longer sometimes than what I think it is. But we have, looks like we got three, three ring binders in here. A yellow, a purple, and a pink. Actually, no. There's six, so there's three pink, three purple, and three yellow, and there appear, okay, no, okay. There's a green, there's a yellow, there's two purple, and two pink. So there's a total of six binders in here, like a buck a piece, so total here, six dollars. So, that's it, that's what we got. Four boxes, one pallet, and a total of like close to $1,800, I paid like 100 and whatever I said, I remember now, 182, something like that. Profit wise, I don't think it'll be that bad. I'm going to do research on several items here that I didn't know what the prices were and everything will be estimated potential, you know, prices, estimated potential profit. Obviously, you know, prices will fluctuate as time goes on, just like this. I might estimate this at $10, but if it sits for two or three months at 10 bucks, if I can't sell it, if somebody says, hey, I'll give you six bucks for it, guess what? After two months, somebody gives me, if they offer me six for it, I'm gonna take it. I'll take that six bucks and, and just keep it moving. 
You see what I'm saying? So estimated prices, estimated profit can fluctuate as time goes on. So hopefully the potential profit is good on this. I think it won't be bad. Nothing crazy high, maybe about $300 maybe, maybe as high as four. But all in all, it was a fun palette, right? This was a hodgepodge palette of random stuff. From pantyhose to dog stuff, the cleaning supplies to dog treats to donut pans to rice makers to headphones. I mean, we had almost everything you think of in this palette to do with anything to do with your household. It had everything. So hodgepodges are honestly kind of fun because who knows what you're going to get. So make sure if you haven't already, go down below, click the subscribe button if you want to see some more content just like this. Anyway. That's all I got. I'll see you soon. I'm out.